how's it going kings and queens this right here is about to be a new segment that i'm going to call the isms of the week i can't tell you how many times i am in conversation i think i'm being funny and i'll say a word or phrase that i picked up from the internet or just from life or that i made up and people just don't seem to get it so the humor is lost and it's just not funny anymore because i have to go back and explain it i'm tired of people scratching their heads and dealing with the people who just do not want to go to the urban dictionary to find out exactly what i'm talking about maybe you're afraid that it's going to stay in your browsing history and somebody's going to judge you or i don't know maybe you're just lazy i get lazy sometimes we're all lazy it's 2015 everything's a comfort but i digress we are talking about the isms of the week. So like I was saying, every week I'm gonna bring you a word or phrase that I use in conversation that people just never seem to understand or like a select few people understand. And I don't talk to a select few people, I talk to everybody. So I need everybody to understand me. And if that means making a video once a week explaining in excruciating detail what these things mean, then so be it. I'm here to serve you, that's what I'm here for. So without further ado, let's just get right into our very first ism of the week. The word that I have chosen in this inaugural edition of isms of the week, you always have to do the air quotes, whether you do them low or do them high, they have to be there. I digress again. The word that we are going to showcase is going to be a word that is used very far and wide by an assortment of people, mainly in the urban community to i guess be disparaging to a certain type of person that word you might have guessed people who actually know what i'm talking about at any given time is going to be the word thought no not thought like i had a thought about something t-h-o-u-g-h-t is not what we are talking about we are talking about the acronym thought t-h-o-t known for referring to that hoe over there. Now there doesn't necessarily have to be a hoe over there because structurally in a sentence it doesn't make sense because you're saying, hey, look at that thought, that hoe over there. But if you were calling somebody a thought, then it kind of changes the meaning. The word changes from, what is it? Well, it's, it's, it's a noun regardless. What you're referencing is now something else. So I can say, hey, that girl over there is a thought and it would make sense. Or I can say, you are a thought. The reason that this word came about, I'm not 100% sure, I did not do the research, but I can only imagine that it came from wanting to call somebody a strumpet in polite conversation without them knowing one or two without being vulgar in public because we are all about the public image these days thus comes the creation of the word thought now with all words thought comes in a couple of different varieties you can just use it normal like hey you're a thought like i said before or you can say that somebody is engaging in the act of thoughtery that's when it really changes because then the acronym becomes a standalone word rather than an acronym because when you say the act of thoughtery, you can't say that person is hoeing over there. I guess you could. I guess that makes sense. That just refutes my whole point. Anyways, the act of thoughtery is exactly that. Hoeing. Being a hoe. Whether that be hoeing for attention or licking five penises. It really does not matter. The fact that you are putting yourself out there in a way that seems like you are doing a lot is the act of thoughting thoughtery thought if you will and with that i will end this inaugural episode of isms of the week i didn't do the air quotes because i decided i didn't want to until next week when we pick our new word please continue to slay the day because it will be okay and i will see you all later